Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm actually doing a little I, art journal page. I think they're art journals, junk journals. I don't know, this is very unconventional. I am actually keeping sort of like a commonplace junk journal, art journal thing in a, a binder or a TN that I turned into a ring binder. And I'm calling this tentatively my Daybook of Dreams. I don't know if that name is going to change. And I believe I mentioned um, this particular book, this particular project, um, a long time ago. <laughs> like maybe a couple, like a month ago or so. I it was a while ago, and I never actually did anything with it. Um, I never. I, I like was. I always kind of punch papers into it and stuff like that. Um, but I never actually sat down and documented. To be quite honest, I have not art journaled or junk journaled or anything journal related um, in a while. Um, I've been doing a lot of scrapbooking and that has been sort of fun and my outlet, um, but I was getting bored with, you know, scrapbooking uh, my year and so I decided to pull out this book and uh, create my intro page because the intro pages are really easy, they're really simple, and they're formulaic. All of my intro pages, all of my journals have intro pages, and all of the intro pages are basically the same. Um, they've evolved. I've always had an introduction page for my journal, but then um, when, once I started doing a lot of Get Messy stuff and um, became really inspired by Kaylee Gray, um, I kind of adapted her formula for creating intro pages, and that was just to take a current photograph of yourself and kind of do a stats page, if you will, like this is me now. So this is how I am at the, st or how I was at the start of the journal. And yeah, so a lot of my journals have this sort of intro page to it and I love doing them. So I decided, you know what, let me just, that's something really quick and easy to do. And so that is what I'm doing here. And I'm using a photograph that you will probably have already seen in a scrapbooking layout. Um, but this photograph, it printed wrong, and so I had to reprint it, and so I had the extra print, and I'm just like, might as well stick it into my uh, day book here, because why not? Um, and so that's the photograph that I'm using, and I had this page that I had in my book um, that I punched in, and it was a, it's a page from a Winnie the Pooh book, and I guess the title of the chapter is We Are Introduced, and so I thought that was fitting for my introduction page and so I didn't want to cut up Pooh though because there's an illustration of Winnie um, like floating on a balloon like floating up in the sky holding a balloon and it looked really cute and so I didn't want to cover that up but I knew that I was gonna have to cover that up and so I decided to take a piece of vellum which is kind of like a frosty transparency almost and build my little layout on top of that and have that over the page but it's not glued to the page and so you can still see that we are introduced at the top, um, but when you turn the page, Winnie is still there intact. And so that's what I decided to do here. And I'm just using pieces that I already had pulled out and literally tucked into this planner because that's basically what I'm using is a planner a binder, um, even though I put it together myself. It was actually a traveler's notebook that I added rings to. Um, so I used like a piece of doily that I had left over and of the beautiful German paper, um, like that ledger paper, love that paper, and I just kind of glued my photograph right on top of that little cluster there. And you'll see that I added some little daisies, black and white daisies. Those are daisies that I stamped using a stamp set that I don't remember who it's by. <laughs> I'm terrible. If I can find who it's by, I'll link it down below, definitely. Um, so yeah, that is my really simple cluster. I do end up working on a couple of pages on this, but you'll see here that I'm just punching holes into the vellum um, because that's going to be in my binder. And I'm putting it back into the binder just to see how it looks. And it looks good. You can still see like a little bit of the Winnie the Pooh page in the background. And I really like that. Um, what I do end up doing is decorating the back of the vellum as well. Because when you flip the page over, 
Um, you, you can, since the vellum is a little translucent, it is frosty, but it, you can definitely see what's on either side. And I didn't want to see the cluster, that I'm the back side of the cluster, and so I'm going to create a new cluster um, to go on, to like sort of cover that side on the back as well. So here I'm just looking through my stickers. I'm pulling out some Tim Holtz uh, clipping stickers and I'm using my soul saying phrase stickers and just adding a few sentiments to the front um, normally I would write in my age my current age my current location and like my name but I decided since this is my day, day book of dreams and what I mean by that is it's a it's basically my happy place in junk journal form um, I didn't want to uh, put like regular stats and so I think I put something about growing or I don't even know I really don't know what I put there but it was more of a, a affirmation statement there because I really also want to use this book um, to document a affirmations I actually have a bunch of things that come up come like pop up into my head I just kind of quickly jot them down on my phone and I really want to train like tr Tr translate those things that I have on my phone into this book in sort of an art journal way but I still want to have those affirmations on in here as well because this book basically look when um, my whole intention is to have a place that I can look back on and draw inspiration from because everything in it will be things that bring me joy um, and so yeah, so I'm using pieces of things that I pull out that I absolutely love and I want to use instead of hoard, and um, so I put that little affirmation in the front. So right now I'm working on that cluster that I said that I, I was going to do on the back side of the vellum because I just didn't want to see all of that layered stuff there so I wanted to cover it up. So I'm using a tag from my Floral Tags digital uh, printable and I am layering some fabric pieces on top of that and then that little die cut I believe is from the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection on top of it there and that is going to be glued right on to that vellum and you can still see like the background of the doily but that's completely fine because it kind of works it's kind of like a muted uh, doily a little bit so um, you'll see here that I actually ran that little cluster, the tag cluster that I made through my sewing machine just to give it a bit more texture and then I just double side tape it down onto the page there. I'm adding another one of those uh, daisies that I stamped out there and um, that little tag thing actually makes a little tuck spot and so I was trying to figure out if anything could be tucked there and actually I haven't actually done journaling for this yet but if I do I might do a little bit of journaling and tuck it in that spot there so I'm just looking everything over and I realized that I need to write I need to write my name or I need to write something there under the photograph and so I took out all of my brush pens I have so many I bought I bought a lot of them I have a couple of Tombow uh, pens I have the Jane Davenport one I have the Kurataki and then I actually really I bought one of the carbon pens the the um I think it's Pilot, the platinum pens, the, the carbon black ink uh, fountain pens. Um, those are waterproof and I bought them specifically for art journaling because I don't really have any really black waterproof pen. Um, and so I was trying to, you can see me here, I use this scrap piece of paper and I'm literally just writing my name over and over and over again. I don't like my handwriting. I'm absolutely terrible at um, uh, hand lettering or calligraphy or whatever you want to call it. I'm atrocious at it. I I don't get it. I know it's all in like the wrist and how you down strokes, up strokes. I don't, it just doesn't, I don't know what it does with my brain, but I can like watch all the videos, listen to everyone who does it so perfectly and well, and I just can't do it. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure it's practice, you know, I have to practice it all the time and I do so many other things that I just don't have enough time to practice. So this is sort of like my makeshift. I'm just gonna scribble something here and hope so it looks nice. But I always do it on a separate piece of paper. I never write directly on my page because I know that I'm going to hate it the minute that I write on my page. And so a trick that I do is I write everything over and over again on different pieces of paper. You saw that I actually wrote my name on vellum because I thought that would be really cool to 
put it on vellum because it's a little translucent. But I decided to use one that I wrote on the white paper and all I'm doing is fussy cutting it out and I'm just going to glue it down. And I do that quite a bit on my art journal pages because it you, you get that sort of hand letter feel to it, but you know, if you mess up the first time that you write something, um, you can just write it again because you're going to fussy cut it out of paper and then stick it onto your project. Um, it's a fail safe, basically. It's, you know, in case you mess up, <laughs> it's not on your project. And, and I know, like, these sort of junk journals, they're, you know, the paper is forgiving, you can cover things up. But, you know, when you have a composition that you really like and then you hand letter over it and it doesn't come out the way you like, it's, it's, it's kind of painful sometimes to cover up that mistake. Um, so writing on a separate piece of paper and then adding it to the project is my best bet. And so for the most part, I think my introduction, like the first page is done, the one with my photograph and the backside cluster that I have there is also done. And so I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do anything on the Winnie the Pooh page. Um, I really love that illustration and I would really hate to cover it up, but I kind of also wanted journaling on that page. Um, because it's, you know, it's an introduction page, it's supposed to have journaling. Um, in the end, I decide to leave the book page as it is. You can see that it's all ripped up and I think I, I think I got it in a paper bundle from Kaylee. I have no idea where I got this page from, but it's just ripped out of a book, obviously. What I did use to um, punch the holes where there's no paper, I use clear reinforcements and I have that there so you can't really see but that this page has reinforcements on it, it's just the clear ones. So what I end up doing for the Winnie the Pooh page is that I ended up using some clipping stickers from Tim Holtz and just writing something about flying, uh, learning to fly, some sentiment about flying there because Pooh is holding onto the balloon and obviously he's in the air. And yeah, again, I was going to put some journaling there, but I sort of kind of left it as is. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this process. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!